it's Jassy V and in today's video I'm going to be telling you guys about a very creepy entity let's call it, that comes around your house near winter time and Christmas time. To be honest, I kind of wish I never knew about this because it's honestly terrifying. So obviously I had to make a video, but proceed with caution because if you don't want to hear something spooky that revolves around Christmas and winter, ooh, you're in for a treat. Before I get started though, I have a very exciting announcement. We have just launched our Christmas mystery boxes. So of course I have it here and I'm going to quickly unbox it for you. Similar to the advent calendars that I showed you before. This is sort of like a self-care mystery box, which I love. We've never done anything like this. So first we have the cutest little exfoliating body scrubs. And these come in these cute little tubes in three different colors. Bring them up close so you can see. These smell so good and I love the packaging. Then we have some bath salt in these cute little house packages. Once again, in three different colors, three different scents. And they've got little bells on top. 10 out of 10 for packaging this year. And this is nice nice and heavy, you get a ton of product in here. These might be my favorite, the two pairs of eye masks. Literally pop these in your fridge for about 20 minutes. And when you put them underneath your eye, you are a new person. Hey guys, I love candy. So we had to do a candy cube this year. Hopefully the camera will focus, but there's colorful little sugar hearts inside. They're little gummies. It has my logo on top. And I love when candy are in this like expensive looking cube box. It's not even a box, it's like a candy. And then lastly, you will get a mystery plushie. So first we have these cute little marshmallow dudes. I love them. Look at their hats. I think they're absolutely adorable. Or you might get one of our Grinch themed marshmallow plushies. These are literal Grinch marshmallows. They're heavy. They're filled with beans. They're basically like beanie babies, but I love them. They're so cute. There's also one that is the Grinch's dog, Max, <laughs> which I think is so cool as well. And then there's also mystery ornaments. And these are like little marshmallow guys in hot chocolate, which I think is so cool. So yeah, this is our mystery box this year. I absolutely love it. It smells amazing. It smells so good the second you open it. And just like every year, yes, there are three golden tickets hidden somewhere amongst our 200 boxes. One prize is to be in a virtual collab with me on this channel. Another one is to get a personalized video from me. And another one is to get a signed art print and letter from me. So if you guys would like a Christmas mystery box before they sell out, I will link it down below. Also take note of shipping times. Christmas is right around the corner. So now is your time to get stuff like this. We also have this new toy on the website called a pocket pet. It really reminds me of Tamagotchis that we had back in the day. It's literally this little device. It's an egg and you have your pet inside and you take it with you you feed it, you play with it, and it's a mystery item because you don't know which pet you're gonna get and the eggs come in different colors and it's just the coolest thing ever. So I'll also link this down below in the description too. And last but certainly not least, I wanna shout out the schools that have implemented the YANA program this year. We have Riverfield County Day School, Betts Elementary, Yearling Middle School, and Pinedale Middle School. These guys are rock stars. Thank you so much for putting the YANA program in your school. You're changing the world. You're doing amazing things. And if any of you watching would like to have a Yana group in your school, please reach out to a teacher, a counselor, your principal. And if you want help getting started, email yana at jessiev.com. I will be there to support you along the way. I'll be sending you personalized videos, Yana merch. It is just so much fun. Okay, so let's get into this video talking about the Yule Man. Now this is an SCP creature and the actual code for this is SCP-4666. This creature is said to be an exceptionally long-lived humanoid entity of unknown origin. He's known to be a very tall elderly male of European descent with an extremely emaciated appearance. Now these reports say he's about seven and a half feet tall, which is insane to me. And this entity always appears completely naked, even when observed outside in freezing cold weather. So like you'll look out your window and see a super tall skinny man out there naked in the snow, like in the middle of a snowstorm and he's just fine out there. What's unsettling is that he's capable of instantaneous travel to any location in the world, but the activity of this creature occurs exclusively within a period of 12 consecutive nights every year. And this is from the night of December 21st to the night of January 1st. And this is known as his active phase. During this time, he appears at dwellings in one or multiple locations. And these houses all have to have the following characteristics. It has to be an isolated, 
rural location. It has to be home to a family with at least one child under the age of eight, and it has to be situated in an area with snow cover lasting throughout the duration of the event. Now, as soon as I said these rules to you guys, I'm sure many of you just took a huge sigh of relief. Because if those three things don't apply to you, you're safe. Comment the snowflake emoji if you're safe, and comment the crying emoji if you live in a house with a child under eight, if your house has a large property and isn't in a neighborhood, and if you get snow every single year around Christmas time. I have all of those things except the children under eight, so I think I'm safe. Unless my dogs count, and if that's the case, I'm in trouble. <laughs> now, this is a possible photograph of SCP-4666, which was apparently recovered from a cell phone. You can see him just standing out there in the snow, super eerie. And this is apparently a fingerprint belonging to SCP-4666, and you should note the unique double whirl pattern. So let's talk about what exactly happens between nights 1 to 12 of when the Yule Man comes to your house. So let's start with night 1 to 7. Children Children will report seeing him in the vicinity of their family's dwelling. The entity will typically be observed watching the house from a distance, such as across a nearby field or from the edge of a neighboring forest. And in some cases, children will report waking up at night to find him watching them sleep through a window. That is absolutely terrifying, especially when you're living out sort of in the country, away from other houses. Seeing something like that would just be, I can't even imagine, honestly. Okay. And and then things get worse, of course. Here is night 8 to 11. Family members, including the parents, will report sounds of footsteps coming from the roof or the attic. And an extremely unpleasant odor will also frequently be noticed inside of the dwelling. And no cause for this phenomenon can be found. Like the parents will try and find out why their house smells and there's just no indicators. And as a result, parents will often begin to suspect that maybe their house is haunted. Like maybe there's some weird spirit activity going on. Some people even think they're starting to be stalked by like a real person and not obviously a SCP entity. And then we have night 12, which is obviously the worst. And apparently one of two things can happen to you. One is very bad and the other is definitely an option that you want. The first and most common is that he will kill all members of the family except for one child under the age of eight whom it will abduct. So it will attack your whole family, but it will take the smallest child. And then we have the second scenario, which occurs in less than 15% of cases. So this one is a lot more rare. He will not harm your family. Family members will report hearing footsteps inside their dwelling during the night, though no signs of forced entry will be found. And in the morning, children will discover presents at the foot of their beds. And these will consist of toys crafted from the remains of missing children which is obviously absolutely disgusting. Now, I was able to find a log of these events occurring throughout history. So for example, we have a case that was in Croatia in 1498. And in this case, the family died, but two children were abducted. And the people who oversaw this investigation just thought it was something evil done by witches because back then they just blamed everything on witches. Then we have a case that occurred in Ontario in 1689, which it's where I live, so a little scary. The family died except for two children again. One of the kids escaped and ran to the closest village and told authorities that a naked man broke into their house during the night and proceeded to torture their parents. And then when police arrived at the house, they found that the parents were hanging upside down from the roof. Okay, then we have a case from Germany in 1913. The entire family died except for a three-year-old child who was abducted. And when the police arrived, they found that all of the deceased family members had their tongues removed, and branches cut from a fir tree outside the house had also been placed all over the bodies for some reason, and neighbors told authorities that the week prior to their attack, the father of the family had mentioned finding tracks in the snow around the family's dwelling, which appeared to have been made by human feet, which is obviously the SCP. Then we have a case from Norway in 1971. The family died, and they were found 
in a horrific way in the basement. Iceland, 1996. The family was attacked and all of their heads were placed on the staircase when the police arrived. Now, what's creepy is that some people think that the reason why he keeps the youngest children is so that he could turn them into dolls. And I want to know why that happens every single time. Why is that in like every single scary story? Why are things turning kids into dolls? It needs to stop. So make sure you look in the snow around your house on December 21st, because even if your house doesn't meet his requirements, you still may see his footsteps circling your house as he looks in the windows to check. Absolutely horrifying. Absolutely. You bet on December 21st, I'm gonna be looking around my house to make sure he hasn't come there. Maybe we'll do a vlog on it. And I know this video is like super early, like you still have like four weeks for when he arrives, but you guys need to be warned. So I'm telling you now. <laughs> Anyways, if you wanna see more like creepy Christmas entities, give this video a thumbs up and let me know. Maybe comment which one you want me to cover. And don't forget if you would like a Christmas mystery box, I've linked it down below along with the pocket pet, which is so cute. But yeah, I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Bye.